The Commonwealth Bank of Australia reports next week on Wednesday the 9th of August. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder and in this week's special edition of Investor Spotlight, we discuss what to expect from the results, examine its current investment case, compare CBA to other big four banks and analyse its stock price. CBA is expected to report a 2% increase in net income for FY23, but weaker profits for the half. According to the data compiled by Reuters, full-year profit is forecast to rise to $10.2 billion. However, that is broken down by a $5.3 billion profit in the first half of the year and a $4.9 billion profit in the second half. The slowing earnings growth is, comes despite sustained growth in the bank's top line. The fall in profitability is likely from moderating net interest margins, which are thought to have peaked in the first half of 2023 at 2.1%. Analysts are lukewarm on the outlook for CBA's profitability, with issues such as eroding margins combined with concerns around slower loan growth as Australia's economy cools and the potential for higher provisions, a risk to the outlook. The bank earnings are forecast to decline over the next 12 months. CBA is forecast to increase its dividend. Analysts are tipping that consistent with the bank's target of a 70 to 80% payout ratio, the bank will pay a dividend of $2.26 for the half, taking the full year dividend to $4.33. The analyst community is negative towards CBA shares at the moment. The stock is in a downgrade cycle with deteriorating economic fundamentals and a lofty valuation leading to a consensus sell rating on the stock. In fact, not one of the 15 analysts surveyed by Reuters recommends buying the stock, with four calling for a hold, 10 a sell and one a strong sell. The target price is at a significant discount of $87.80. The outlook for the broader banking sector in Australia is soft, but CBA trades at a much richer valuation than its peers. CBA's price to earnings ratio is floating around 17.8 times, which is above its long-term average and, according to Simply Wall Street, at a premium to its other big four counterparts. The CBA has historically traded at a higher multiple than other banks. Its size, competitive advantage, sensitivity to Australia's property market and status as a way of getting investment exposure to the Australian economy have contributed to its richer valuation. However, with fundamentals for bank shares deteriorating, the downside risk in CBA shares appears to be greater than other banks, which are trading closer to fair value and in line with long-term multiples amidst a correction in prices over the past 12 months. CBA shares are in a consolidation pattern and trading within a range. Sellers have emerged above $110 per share, while dips have been bought when the stock falls towards $90. The last major sell-off for the stock came following its interim results in February in a sign that sellers could again take control of the price off the back of its full-year numbers. On the daily charts, the technicals also indicate an imminent pullback for the stock. The daily RSI has recently pushed into then dropped out of overbought territory, which has has marked significant reversals in the past. Upward sloping trendline support may be a key level to watch on any pullback.